Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Art Alien TV, and today I'm doing a Christmas special, and I'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And what I'm doing today is a bit of a, um, a lateral thinking exercise and a sort of experiment to see if theoretically we could actually have a Christmas feast on Mars. Okay? And things like decorations and Christmas objects and presents and food and things like that. I'm going to link a whole bunch of things together here which wouldn't normally be linked together. Uh, but this is a bit of fun for the holiday season. Just a way of showing the Paradolia place out there, how easy it is for me with so many finds on Mars to put all these things together and have a virtual Christmas on Mars in Gale Crater. Now this is uh, what I'm going to use as a Christmas tree. Now these are branches coming out of the ground. You can clearly see here coming out of the ground we have branches coming out and we even have branches coming off these wannabe dunes here. NASA calls these uh, millipede dunes but in fact some of them have branches coming out and I think there are living plants inside some of these dunes and they're using the sand, frozen sand, as a, as a sort of thermal jacket to keep them warm. Okay, perhaps. Uh, they're living in the sand and they've got branches coming out which go over and under these branches that are coming out of the ground. So that would be the virtual Christmas tree. Okay, um, this is, uh, I'll link this in the description below. This is um, Mars Giant Vine Plants. I did a video on this a while ago, so some of you may have seen that already, but I'll, I'll link to this anyway. Okay, so there is that. And of course, we're going to need some food. Now, there are the giant gourds that I found, or giant veg that I found recently. This is a video I did a while back. Mars plants cause methane spikes. I did a, a video before this as well, showing these. Uh, these are 130 meters across, these are. So a little bit large to eat on Christmas Day, but they look Christmassy, they're nice and red. And if they weren't so large, they could also be used as Christmas decorations, perhaps, okay? That would be cool. Um, but the problem is they're, they're so enormous. I mean, they're over 400 feet wide. Um, they're, they're just too big, but you could possibly drill into one of these and take some of the flesh out and eat it. But there is a high possibility that these are poisonous. Okay, so that could be a bit of a problem. Also on the plate, we would need some other vegetables. Now there was this little tiny plant here that I found recently also. Uh, this is what I've called the Mars asparagus cacti. Okay, living plant found on Mars. Now this is a tiny cacti growing in Gale Crater. I'm just gonna play that through a little bit there. And you can actually see that in the bit coming up next, you can actually see the roots sticking out in the sand below this thing, as we can see here. Okay, so we've got the a very spindly asparagus shaped or sized cacti plant and you've got roots coming out below and the sand is wet here Now, what happens on Mars is basically you get uh, frost forming on these rocks in the evening and the next day that frost then melts and then drips into the sand and it looks like this plant is growing from the moisture in the sand okay which would only be momentary that moisture but probably just enough to feed a very small cacti plant like this, okay? So that was cool. Now, of course, on the Christmas day, you would also need to call your relatives. You would need something like a mobile device, like a mobile phone. You could also use it to take photographs of your relatives. Now, this may not be a mobile phone. This is something I, I didn't find myself. This was found by, I think, by Aya Lawrence uh, two or three years ago. I've done a couple of versions of this video. This is a later one. And we have here what looks a bit like an old Nokia. It's even got four buttons on it here. One, two, three, and four with a screen. The screen looks like it's shattered or broken. But this may actually be more likely to be part of a mosaic or piece of artwork or some kind of carved object or something like that on the ground uh, or attached to a wall or something like that. There is artwork, there are murals and carvings in the area and statues all over the place. So I would have thought this is more likely to be a piece of artwork. But it does look like a, an old Nokia, so that was cool. And we'd also need some protein to go with our giant vegetables and asparagus cacti to go on the plate. Something like a bird. Now I've got a folder up here with lots of different things in it. And there are birds on Mars. I've shown them before. Now some of them are flying around. And that would need to be shot down or, or something if you were going to eat this bird. This is a, a large hawk flying above Gale Crater. This was found by Marcello Irazusta. And I found many 
remains of birds on the ground, so it would be possible to eat something similar to turkey, perhaps, on Mars. But failing that, there are plenty of these around, fossilised and dead lizards and things like that lying around in the Gale Crater, it preserved. This one here, you can see the nose at the top here. You can see an eye here, just where my little hand cursor is. Another one here. So there's an eye there and an eye there. There's the head and the neck coming down. And we've got a little leg sticking out. Now this is not in great shape. It's probably been there a million years, we don't know. It probably died in the lake, it was probably crawling around in the mud when the cataclysm struck and it was frozen and then desiccated and dried out and the minerals in the sand help preserve it into this kind of fossil okay and uh, there are plenty more of those where that came from then of course to go with the Christmas tree which is this clip I showed you a minute ago to go with this Christmas tree would need some decorations right uh, so I've got some here we've got uh, this chain link thing which could go round the, uh, the Christmas tree now this is a, a rock in the background here and these stripy bits are wind erosion in the rock and there's this very faint blurred chain coming out of the rock and going into the ground okay you can actually see the links here one two three four five five or six there okay so that would make a nice Christmas decoration and we have uh, we would need some lights of course to go on the Christmas tree and there are the Mars traffic lights now this thing is about a foot in height maybe about eight or nine inches could be seven and it looks very much like a traffic light or something like that uh, so maybe that could be wired up and light the, the Christmas tree up okay so that'd be cool and then we have uh, some other things that could go under the Christmas tree but we'd also need um, as you would on Christmas Day a TV and there's this old TV shaped object I'm not saying it is a TV it's a TV shaped object that's like an old black and white portable TV so we could watch the, the dodgy old TV shows they put on at Christmas okay uh, this looks like it's got a cracked screen so I'm not sure it'd be very good but we'd also need an aerial for that also happen to have one of those there was this that was found a couple of years ago two or three years ago as well which I, I think I was the first to put up on YouTube but it may have been found by someone like Terry Burnett or someone else I'm not sure um, he's found so many things um, this looks like a TV aerial this thing is about a foot or two in height and looks very much like an antenna so we could plug that into the TV to get a signal we have the mobile phone if that fails we could probably watch stuff on there and uh, also the mobile phone be able to take photographs of the relatives and that kind of thing what else would we have we would have probably a stocking to hang up on the fireplace or by, on the mantelpiece by the fire this is a fossilized sock it looks like on Mars there are lots of things like shoes that I found and uh, you would obviously need some presents to go under the under the uh, Christmas tree and uh, for my wife I would probably uh, buy her a pair of boots or something like that a nice set of these unfortunately there's only one of these fossilized boots in the ground it's still got laces in it um, you can see the laces here just here that one two three and they're, they're going through the boot there this is fossilized in the mud like a lot of things are unfortunately there's only the, the right boot there the left one is missing as it's usual with these sorts of things you never find a, a pair <laughs> uh, and also we would probably need uh, some ball balls uh, now there is this thing that looks a bit like a ball ball but it's not I actually think this is a grenade okay this is in Gale Crater something I found years ago about five years ago but unfortunately if you hung this up the pin may come out and it may go off so that's probably not a good idea to go on the Christmas tree uh, we would need something else instead I mean if these giant veg on Mars were smaller then we could hang these up as baubles but these are 130 meters across so that's not possible but they may be edible and as I've said before when these rot down they may create alcohol as fruit do when they rot and then methane which may cause the methane spikes on Mars but you could possibly even extract some of this stuff and make alcohol from it okay as it rots down and ferments then of course you're going to need some presents to go under the tree now of course I've already shown the mobile phone I mean that could actually be a present you could wrap that up and give it to somebody 
Uh, you could probably play games on that and take photos with it as well. Who knows? Uh, but let's just pretend that this is a mobile phone and not just a rock with a with a with something painted on it, which I think it is. It may just, who knows? <laughs> this was found by Aya Lawrence back in 2018. Still one of the best finds on Mars, I think. It's absolutely insane. People went a bit crazy when this was published. Um, it, it is a possible phone, but it's more likely, I think, to be a piece of artwork uh, because there's so much of it in the area. And the place I would like to sit on Mars in Gale Crater would be in front of this, which is the mural painting on Mars, where we have lots of lovely colours to look at and even a, a depiction here of a pointy-headed Martian in a sort of gold, yellowy colour. And there's gold leaf type stuff going on here in this image. I mean, obviously this has had the colour enhanced, but not a lot. Um, the, the original image I got it from was, was very colourful already. Uh, so there we, there we are, that would be a nice thing to maybe put above the fireplace, perhaps, would be a picture of this. Okay. So we got food. We're going to need something to eat the food from, or out of. Uh, like a, a bowl, perhaps. Got a bowl here, and this is one of my very earliest finds, going right back to 2013. I found this bowl on the ground here, and you can see this got sections around the, the bowls upside down, sitting on the ground, and we got these details around the edge, which are equidistant. So that is a manufactured object, probably made of clay. Very interesting. So we could eat out of the bowl. And of course, we'd need something to drink as well. Uh, and there was this possible mug that was found as well. Uh, this was found, this was sent in to me by one of my subscribers. So I didn't find this. And it's even got a, what looks to, to be a handle on it. Now, this may actually be an optical illusion, this thing. It may just turn out to be a rock with some strange parts on it. But it does really look like a mug or jug. And this is quite large as well. It's about eight or nine inches in size. It's really big, maybe 10. So I'm going more with it being a jug rather than a, than a, a mug. But you could possibly drink your beverage from that on the surface. Um, then we obviously we need a bird of some sort. Um, if we were going to have a Christmas dinner, we would need some kind of bird. And there are plenty of them on Mars, like this one. Uh, and there are some on the ground. So it is possible that we could have something resembling a turkey, or at least partially. There was this one. Now, this is one that looks rather like a dove up, up on top of a rock here. And is literally only a stone's throw away from the old Beano alien that I published, which was found by Sarah Runcie. Um And literally, this, this rock that this possible dove-type bird is perched on. You can see its beak there. You can even see an eye there, look. Just there. It's an eye and a beak. And a wing here. There's the shoulders. It would have been possible for this possible alien to throw a rock at this bird and capture it and eat it. And perhaps that's what it was doing. But then it may have, may have peeked round at the rover and thought, oh, I better not because there's a, a strange robot machine over there that seems to be moving around and making funny noises and taking photographs. So who knows? Who knows? But this possible Mars alien was possibly trying to capture this for food. Okay, That is a possibility. It's not that likely, but it is possible. <laughs> Uh, so we'd also need presents to go under, under the uh, Christmas tree, like this little robot thing. Uh, and it, it's very similar in shape to R2-D2. So you could have like a toy robot to give to your nephew or something like that. That would be cool. That could go underneath the Christmas tree as a present. Uh, also for a member of the family, you could give them a pet tortoise, perhaps. Um, perhaps in some countries you might prefer to eat the tortoise and keep the bird as a pet, but we, uh, yeah, okay, uh, I won't go into that. But this could actually be given as a, as a present, perhaps, although you shouldn't really give pets as presents at Christmas, I don't think. Um, there's some weird stuff in this area. This is from Sol 153, loads of weird things like lizards preserved on the ground and stuff like that. And then we have uh, this little plant. This could also be a present to go under the tree for a mother or whatever. This is a cacti or some kind of weird plant on the surface. This is only about four or five inches tall with these weird limbs and kind of leaves sticking out. Very interesting that. One of my very early finds from about 2014. And there, there are lots of objects on the surface. And of course, 
to butcher the, the actual bird and cut it up to cook it, you would need something like a blade like we have here. This is the blade I found. We did a video about that uh, a few years ago. And uh, that, would, that still seems to have an edge on it here, a sharp edge. You can actually see that just there, that shiny edge. Uh, you'd have to clean it up and polish it, but it would probably work as a cutting implement. But failing that, you could always use the axe that I found, although that would probably make a bit of a mess of the bird. Uh, so perhaps the blade would be a better option. You could use the, um, the nail here, which I found uh, here, the 12-inch nail. You could use that to sort of um, to nail the, the uh, stocking to the fireplace or just on the mantelpiece. Okay, but this is rather large, this nail, 12 inches long. Uh, a bit too large for that, but hey. So on the Christmas tree, we probably need something like a, an angel to go on top of the Christmas tree. Now, we don't have an angel, but I do have this Mars fi Goddess figurine, which is um, about the right size. I mean, this is a, about four or five inches in length. And we've, we've got the nice legs and, and uh, details here with a headdress. doesn't have wings, unfortunately, but that could be used as an angel go on top of the Christmas tree why not um, we now as, as far as birds go there is this thing here uh, there this is what I found I called Roadrunner uh, bird or dino dinosaur now this is only about one and a half feet long it's, it's about 12 to 18 inches in length from here to here and is under this kind of rock and it's very dark so you can't see it very well but you can just about make out the body here a leg sticking down and a long neck and the head with a beak and two eyes just there if I zoom in a bit there it is you'll see the eyes and a beak and neck possible other leg here coming out from underneath there's the body but it doesn't look like there's much meat on that and there are other birds of course that I found uh, but they're mostly just skulls uh, there was this large flightless bird that I found uh, a while back a few years ago and this is fossilized unfortunately so we wouldn't be able to eat that uh, but this does say to me that there are probably still birds on Mars that are alive so we could probably capture one of the flying birds like this one uh, but we may need something to shoot it down with or capture it with um, or wait for it to land like that pigeon or dove and then just throw a rock at it and then do it that way uh, <laughs> who knows uh, perhaps one of these things would shoot it down like one of the, uh, the one of the guns or tanks or howitzers or something or the pistol or whatever maybe you could use one of them but of course what would happen then the bird would probably explode because these are too high caliber for that kind of thing so that's not a good idea okay so we've got decorations we've got a tree we've got some presents we've got of course some people would prefer probably in some countries to eat fish for Christmas dinner like they're doing in places like Austria uh, this is a preserved fish on the surface um, looks better smaller if you go too big with it, it it's um it's over zoomed a bit so if you look at it smaller like that you can actually see this is some kind of weird alien martian fish there's the tail there's a fin there there's the body and a very strange shaped head this was a bottom feeder in the lake and the, the lake has dried out leaving it behind and then it's preserved and encrusted and fossilized on the surface okay so there are lots of things on the ground that say that there would have been plenty to eat on Mars on Christmas Day. You'd need a car to get around. And I've also found a couple of these. Uh, and there were one or two found by other people as well. This is one I found. This look, looks a bit like, very much like a car. And it even has a windscreen here at the front. And when you zoom in, you can see the edges of it. There's a handle here. Back wheel here. This is completely encrusted in, in lake sediment and then fossilised. So this car ended up in the lake, the lake dried out, and this thing was revealed, all covered in sediment and mud and clay, and it's all kind of encrusted and dried out, okay? That's what it is. Or it's something shaped very much like a car. So it's either a car or something like it, I would say, okay? So there were cars on Mars, you could drive around, visit your relatives. Now one thing I used to have, uh, used to make me ill on Christmas Day, is I used to get towed around in my Christmas stocking. And this is shaped a bit like a toad around. I know it's a very tenuous link, but hey, this is Christmas, right? Um, basically, I used to eat toad brown on Christmas morning and it used to make me ill and I didn't realise why, but I was actually allergic to some of the ingredients inside it, okay? Really badly allergic to it, so I don't eat that stuff anymore. Um, so there we have it. There are other birds 
and creatures that you could possibly eat instead of a, a, a turkey. There's this little hedgehog type creature. Now this is preserved as well and uh, fossilized. It's got little, little feet here at the front. There's the face, there's the mouth here, there's the eye, it's the head obviously, and the, the body comes around, we've got these little spikes on it, a bit like a hedgehog. Okay, cool. Now obviously that wouldn't really be edible because it's fossilized, much like the lizard here. Uh, I doubt there'd be much worth eating left on this thing. It's completely desiccated and dried out like a lot of the things are and fossilized on the ground. Uh, so that was it really. Uh, of course you could always have crab instead of um, turkey or, or a bird or a tortoise or a hedgehog. Why not? You could have crab. This is a fossilized crab. This is very large, about two, at least two feet off the ground this thing and um, goes into the ground as well. So this is only the top part of it with legs showing here at the bottom and is holding something which is eating or at least it was when it was fossilized or frozen. Very odd indeed. Very, very strange. There's some very weird things on Mars. Some of them may actually be alive and just look a bit like fossils, for all we know. Um, so we've got, we got food, we've got a TV, we've got an aerial, we've got presents, and we've got all sorts of things we could give as gifts on Mars. Um, now, this is one thing that I really liked. Um, this was found, I think, by Martin Graney, as it says here. We have a little carving of a little person sat in a chair, which is broken and eroded. But when you zoom in, you can actually see the face here. Very vague, but it's got a nose, two eyes and a mouth, and has what looks a bit like a Christmas hat with a white furry rim and a red bit here. So, were they celebrating Christmas or not? I doubt it. <laughs> but one can always uh, imagine, I suppose. So that was about it really. And of course we would need to cook the food. Now this thing was found years ago. I didn't find it initially. And, but I did a reconstruction of this object there. This looks a bit like an oil heater and is about one to two feet high. So it is possible you could put some food in here and cook it. You'd have to cut it up into small pieces. But uh, this is the model I made of it, made out of clay with the handle on top like this. Okay, and that's what I think it is. Um, it's either a heater or a cooker or something similar. It's a bit like those oil heaters that we used to use back in the old days, back in the 70s. So it's possible you could cook something inside that. Um, who knows? And as for things to go under the Christmas tree, you could have, for one of the relatives, you could have a toy doll. Now this may actually not be a doll, this may actually be a, a person, a very small person. I'm not going to say the word because they, the, the, some of the words are not allowed on YouTube. Uh, but basically this is a, a very, very young person, I would say. Uh, with a very large head and a very small body, like very, very young people have, uh, but may actually be a doll. Um, and you can even see eye detail in here. Okay, there's the nose and the mouth, eye detail, and you can even see that in the raw image just here. You can see those eyes. They're a bit vague, but they're there. What you've got to do is add contrast and a bit of colour, it's there. Okay, so that would make a present for somebody perhaps. So we've got presents, we've got a tree, we've got decorations, we've got food, we've got things to eat out of, we've got things to eat with and perhaps cut the food up with. Um, we've got possible transport to get around to go and visit the relatives in this car here, uh, which was found by um, Vladimir Vladimirov a few years ago. Uh, you can even see a tire sticking out the edge here, like a wheel just there, got wheel arches. It's very vague. This was photographed by the by the Spirit Rover, I think, and it's a very low quality image. Um, but you can see that it's probably a car because it's shaped like a car and it has wheel arches and a wheel sticking out, okay? And it even has a number plate type shape thing on the back there, okay? So there we are. So that could be used to travel around between relatives, perhaps. And, uh, but of course, if you actually were living on Mars, you would probably get a speech from this guy who was the emperor. And this is the giant 200 foot statue of what looks like a Martian emperor with a beard. Now this is made, constructed, you can see the construction blocks here, a rectangular one here and, and here, and part of this has fallen away. And some people have even mentioned that he seems to be wearing a necklace, there's some weird things around the neck here. Um, but this is at the base of Mount Sharp and is absolutely enormous. So this guy would have probably done the Queen, the equivalent of the Queen's speech on Christmas Day, if they ever had a Christmas Day on Mars. 
they probably didn't um, so there we are so that's about it really that was just a bit of fun I just thought I'd link together some things that I found and see if we could have a Christmas feast on Mars and last but not least I would invite these two round unfortunately they're properly fossilised and frozen and have been dead for a long time but I would invite them round anyway the Mars couple uh, these were found by Marcin Graney about five years ago. A lot of you would have seen them. And they were probably frozen as the atmosphere was partly destroyed and fr blast frozen and then mineralised in the bicarbonate minerals in the uh, in Gale Crater here. And then preserved perfectly and crystallised and then fossilised. Okay, So I'd invite those round for a Christmas feast on Mars. And one thing <laughs> I almost forgot... After, at the end of the day when you've had too much to eat too much to drink you're going to need one of these and there just happens to be one on Mars in Gale Crater Mars Toilet Basin okay I think I'll leave it there thanks for watching I'll see you soon Thank you.